guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't done a dust and discuss in quite some time, so that's what we're doing today. <laughs> so for today's dust and discuss, as late as it may be, I was at a con when this whole thing came out, uh, so I wasn't able to make a video in time, but we are going to be talking about Smile Fest. Uh, there was one hobby fest I don't know how many of those there are a year I can't really keep up with all the fests um but there was one hobby fest before smile fest I didn't do a video on that I don't know if it's a little too late to do a video on that but um if you still want to see my opinions on all the figures that came out then let me know in the comments and I will do a video on it but I'll, I think some of the figures on there already released but anyways today we are going to be talking about smile fest and going over some figures and nendroids that uh, kind of caught my eye and we have a lot of updates on figures that were already announced so uh, in this list I have it mixed between figures I'm going to pre-order uh, and figures that I'm not going to pre-order but caught my attention still and figures that I honestly don't know if I'm going to pre-order or not I'm not sure yet and then in the end I have a list of figures that I was hoping to see updates on that we just haven't gotten yet so anyways please make sure you like and subscribe leave me a comment let me know what you think what you're excited for um, and then again let me know if you want me to do one on one hobby fest or whatever that previous festival was and I will um, take that into consideration so uh, without further ado let's get started grab your brush grab your figures uh, and yeah <laughs> all right so first up I, I think I called this I, I think I called this in one of my previous videos I think it was also a dust and disgust I think it was like it I think it was called like figures I wish they made or something like that I'm pretty sure it was in that video but they announced a nendroid for Chiho from the devil is a part-timer season two uh, if you didn't know season two did come out in July I believe and they're making an android of Chiho there is a prototype available it's not colored right now but it looks super cute and yeah I just want to say I called it I called it one of my videos I'm pretty sure I called it and I didn't cut it out of the video um so yeah I'm really excited about it I'm still not sure whether I'm going to pre-order her or not as much as I love that series a lot I'm trying to steer away from Androids and it's so hard to do that and I'm probably gonna regret not pre-ordering it to be honest but I I need to put my foot down on this I think it would have been different if the first announcement was of Mao I probably would have like without hesitation been like yep I'm pre-ordering it a lot of people on her my figure collection page were kind of upset I mean they were happy that the series is getting enough attention that figure companies want to make figures of them but I also know a lot of people in that comment section and understandably so were kind of upset that Chiho was the one getting a figure announcement because it seems like even from the previous figures from way back when they had season one out uh, that they made it was also Chiho. There was like a bathing suit one and then one of her in her McRonald's uniform, which that one is super cute and I'm not mad about that one at all, but it's it always seems to be Chiho. I think the only other one there was was of Amelia. And I'm kind of upset about that too. And just like everybody else, I was really hoping to get a Mao one first at least. I don't know if they're gonna end up doing it later on. I would hope that they would, but for someone that's a main character, he gets literally no attention at all, and it really bothers me, like, a lot. So yeah, I don't know. I was really hoping for Mao. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love Chiho a lot, but it's kind of one of those things that you know, if you watch the series, you know why she was picked to be... <laughs> the first one to get a figure 
because it's always the girls and not just it's not just her being a girl but it's because of her body type and what she's packing and it's kind of just annoying so I, I'm pretty sure that's the reason okay like don't don't quote me on that but I'm it seems to be a trend with figure collectors or figure companies I'm sorry that that's the figure that gets the most attention and even if it wasn't like even let's say if it was Amelia that got the figure announcement I would have been a little more happier but male figures don't get that much attention and I don't understand why there is such a demand for them and yeah they either don't get enough attention or when they do get attention I feel like they're not as creative with them as they are with the female um, figures which is so freaking annoying anyways that was my little rant on that but <laughs> we're only on the first figure announcement um, but yeah like I said I don't know if I'm going to pre-order her I, I'm prob I probably am but I'm hoping that we at least get scales and at least if not scales get a nendroid of Mao an announcement for him before Chiho gets released because I feel like if I know that Mao for sure is going to get released or announced, then that that plays a big factor in whether or not I order Chiho. Maybe. <laughs> Anyways, next next figure. We I, I like talked way too much about this one. Um, next figure is the beautiful. I don't know if you guys saw this or not. The beautiful scale figure of uh, Miku. It's her 15th anniversary uh, scale and she's like, she just has this beautiful, adorable strawberry design all over. Like every part of this figure, I feel like the more, it's one of those things where the more you look at it, the more details you see and she's so cute. Like I didn't even notice when I first looked at her that she had strawberry shoes on so cute i love the fork i love everything about it she does already have a nendroid version of that figure and it's just stunning as well my favorite part of that entire figure is the plate so freaking cute so freaking cute the plate as a base oh my goodness i think she's so stunning but I don't and she's already painted it and everything but like I don't know if I want to order her I don't know why I like she is like that is totally my vibe like that cutesy like fruity strawberry the, the whole thing like I'm in love with it but I don't know if I want to pre-order it and I don't know what's holding me back uh, I do know she's going to take a lot of space because of how bulky her hair is but I feel like it's kind of worth it for how beautiful she is there's that and then I don't know maybe it's so cute but at the same time it's just too overwhelming I don't know you guys like I'm trying to come up with a reason I, I don't know I don't know I do wonder though how much she's going to be because I can only imagine like <laughs> she's gonna be pricey um, I don't know when she goes up for pre-order I don't know the whole, the details on her, but she is stunning. I believe she's a one seven scale as well. She's stunning, you guys, stunning. Um, but yeah. Okay, next up. Ah! Oh my god, this is like one of the ones I was super hyped for, and I've been like waiting for an update on. They finally released the prototypes. They're unpainted right now, but they look so good so far of uh, Reiki and Langa from Skate the Infinity. Okay, and while we're on the subject of that, we got an OVA announcement and we got a season two announcement and oh my gosh, I am so freaking happy and so excited. Um, back to the Nendroids. They look so good, you guys. They are, oh my God, I love them. I love them so freaking much. They're like, I have nothing else to say. The skateboard looks good too, their accessories, everything about them. I just, oh my God, I am just praying that the paint job will turn out well. And I'm very confident that it will, but 
you still gotta pray for these things, you know, just in case. Um, but oh my god, I this is like a no question about it. I am pre-ordering this. I don't care if I'm trying to hold back from Nendroids. I need them. I am hoping for scales soon. Can you imagine scales of them skateboarding to get skateboarding together? Oh my god. Oh my god, I cannot wait. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, anyways, so there's that. Uh, speaking of Nendroids, I got, I finally invested some money into getting these Nendroid easel stands and they have saved me so much space on my shelf. So if you haven't already gotten these or tried them out, I highly recommend them. Uh, I got these on eBay because I couldn't find the clear ones on Good Smiles website. Uh, and I prefer the clear clear ones, but yeah, super good, super helpful. Okay, so this one is very interesting. We have this rebuild of Evangelion Ray scale figure, and she's got this lipstick, red lipstick on. There's no prototype or anything of her, but she looks super cute. I've seen that photo circle around before she got a figure announcement. I don't know where it's from, I think it's from a video from some kind of commercial or something that they were promoting, but it looks super cute. I've never really been a huge fan of Ray, but like I gotta admit she looks super cute in that photo. So I'm very curious to see what her pose will be, what her uh, prototype will look like. It, so far it's just like a photo of her headshot and stuff like that. But yeah, I thought that would be kind of cool to mention. Okay, y'all. This next one is already up for pre-order. <laughs> and I need to decide quickly if I'm going to pre-order her or not uh, before she goes completely out of stock like her scale figure did in like a few hours. And if you don't know who I'm referring to by now, it is Marin from My Dress Up Darling and it's of her uh, Nendroid. She's already painted, her prototype is out, she's already up for pre-order, she's been up for pre-order, and I think she is so adorable. Like, she is beyond adorable, but I don't know what's making me question whether or not I want to buy her. She even comes with her Daikimakura, her body pillow, and they, I think they even have her like nails done, her like face plates are so cute, especially like when her eyes kind of sparkle and everything. I love that so much. I I don't know. I think it's just safe for me to pre-order her and if I change my mind, I can always sell her. But yeah, I th yeah, I think now that I'm like talking about it out loud, I think I'm going to pre-order her. She just looks so good. I think she also comes with a decent amount of accessories too, which is rare now, uh, nowadays. So, I mean, yeah, I think I'm going to pre-order her. Hopefully, <laughs> when I'm done with this video, it, she's still in stock, but uh, this is what I get because I wanted her scale from, I think it was Aniplex, and I kept questioning myself whether to get her or not. And then at one point I decided, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it and order her scale. And she was completely sold out and she is still sold out. So God, I just know those aftermarket prices are gonna be insane. Like people are obsessed with Marin, rightfully so. She's just a adorable character, but like, man, I have like Ryuko there flashing you guys this entire time. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's what I get for being indecisive. Um, next ones, I don't, okay. All right, all right, let me just say what they are. Um, they are Attack on Titan Nendroids. We have Titan Aaron, season four Mikasa, season one of Jean, Sasha, and Annie. I don't know why Connie was left out of that friend group, <laughs> but I'm not going to pre-order Titan Aaron. I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't really get the hype around Titan Aaron. Um, I'm not gonna pre-order season four Mikasa because I didn't pre-order season four Aaron or Reiner, which I, I always think back at Reiner because <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think his Nendroid is pretty funny. Anyways, I just didn't like the season four Aaron 
I, something just felt very mid or meh about him. So I was like, eh, not very exciting. I did pre-order the season ones of everyone, including Levi. So I think I'm just gonna stick with those and then that'll be it for the androids I get. Uh, I do I do plan on probably getting Jean, Sasha, and Annie because they're also from season one. So yeah, I'm just questioning why they didn't make poor, <laughs> poor Connie. Oh man. Oh, and you know what? I'm also not sure why they didn't add a season four Armin. I feel like these things they need to, they need to release all together. I hate how they kind of span it out for so long. You know what I mean? Like, like if you release season four Aaron, I would have liked to know that Mikasa was coming along too. And now you have me season four Mikasa coming out, but we don't know if Ar I mean, you can assume that they're gonna release season four Armin, but why not just, how are you gonna do season four Mikasa and then season four Aaron and then do all of a sudden go to, back to season one and make a Jean, Sasha, and Annie. Like, I don't know, it's just it's just weird. But yeah, those are the Attack on Titan announcements. There are no updates for the season four Levi, I don't think. Uh, there's only a, an unpainted prototype of him, and I know a lot of people said that he kind of looks weird. Like, his hands or his body looks a little stiff. Um, so there's that. Okay, next up, I feel like I'm gonna be so upset talking about this. Um, next up, we have a Nendroid doll, and it's not painted yet. I think he just has, there's a prototype, it's not painted. I think he just has like his eyes painted and he has his clothes on. But it's of Hanako kun from Toilet Bound Hanako kun. Um, <sighs> he's adorable. Okay, I don't collect Nendroid dolls. I've seen some that I'm, I'm that have made me like question whether or not I should get and start collecting, uh, but none that I've actually committed to yet. I'm sure people who collect Nendroid dolls are super happy about this. I am not <laughs> because I still want a re-release of his Nendroid, which to be fair, maybe this Nendroid doll release of him is getting us one step closer to a re-release. I mean, so far, Good Smile Company has been doing such a great job in re-releasing figures and Nendroids that everybody wants. For example, they re-released the Ash figure. Not Nendroid, which I hope they do, honestly, but they re-released this Ash figure. And, oh my God, I feel like this is a sign from God, dude. Like, they are going to re-release the Nendroids. Oh my God, I, I was so happy. I just hope Kotobukiya re-releases, and of course these are different companies, but I hope they kind of follow Good Smile's footsteps and re-release that Ash and AG figure of them together, because that is my favorite one. And like, oh, I, God, I really want it so bad. But yes, hopefully they re-release the Hanako Kun <laughs> Nendroid. Uh, Cause I really want it, y'all. I really want it. He's so adorable. Uh, you know, for someone who really doesn't want to collect Nendroids, I really want that Nendroid, makes sense. Oh my God, okay. I really need to start <laughs> dusting up more. Next one is an announcement there is no prototype for it but we are getting given nendroids of Uenoyama and uh what's his face mafuyu who would have known this makes me so happy not just because i like the series but because we're getting bl stuff in we are getting bl figures in and i feel like they've not they've never gotten the attention they deserved just every time i see a bl figure get released or announced it just makes my heart so happy they deserve so much more attention from these figure companies oh my god so i'm so happy that they're getting a figure announcement even though it's just nendroids this is still a step in the right direction. It's just, just, oh my God. 
um i love it so moving on i've never seen this anime but it i saw the announcement for these figures and i've heard a lot about the anime maybe not a lot i know it's a soccer sports anime but they are releasing blue lock yeah that's a name blue lock and androids and i saw it i never seen the anime but i saw the announcement and i thought they looked so cute to be fair it's just like a photo of the character and no prototype but even like the chibi photo looked so cute so whoever is a blue lock fan that caught my attention and i don't even watch the series so you're in luck <laughs> i am it is on my watch list um so if you have a review of that series please let me know in the comment section below all right so this next figure was already announced in one of the previous festivals um i guess they're re-announcing it i don't i don't know what the situation with that is this is another thing where i'm like bl is getting more attention and i'm so happy y'all because these are a definite pre-order okay and the prototype is not even out but i feel like i have to order them i I am hoping, <laughs> I have faith, I don't know what accessories they'll come with though, but um, I have faith that they will turn out good. And they are um, Shion and Nezumi from number six. I remember reading the manga in high school and I absolutely fell in love. I fell in love with Nezumi. He's like, <laughs> he literally looks like Yato with his hair tied up. Uh, so um, it makes sense. I never watched the anime in high school and like a few months ago I finally sat down and watched it. I loved it. To be honest, the manga was a hundred times better. I feel like a lot of stuff was rushed and kind of didn't really make sense on the anime, but that's just my opinion. Maybe I don't really remember it as much because it was a while back, but yeah. I. I love these characters nonetheless and oh my god I am so happy like it almost felt kind of too far-fetched for them to it was like I don't know it was just so unexpected I was not expecting them to get like any attention at all to be honest so yeah what a pleasant surprise next up is an anime or manga I don't even I don't know if there's an anime of it but I've heard so many good things about this series and I'm really curious to know what your opinion on the series is because I do want to add it to my watch list because it looks really interesting but there's no prototype on this one yet there's just a promotional image and it is from Chobits there's an android coming out I don't know the character I don't really know anything um, but I thought that was really interesting and caught my attention hey y'all so while I was editing this video I realized I accidentally skipped over Hori from Hori Mia and here she is here's the unpainted prototype i don't know how i skipped over her she was on my list i'm super excited about her coming out i can't wait to see how she turns out i don't or how she turns out painted at least but i don't know if i'm going to pre-order her just because i never pre-ordered uh miyamura so i don't know and i still don't really like how miyamura looks so maybe if I see them photographed together and they look okay <laughs> or really cute and they can hold hands maybe, maybe then I will reconsider. But so far it's still a no for me, but she looks super cute. Alrighty, on to the video. Um, that was it for just the ones that caught my attention. Of course, there's way more announcements, but um, some of the characters I didn't know, some I've never even heard of the series. Or you can always find that on Good Smile's Instagram page, or uh, I get all my figure announcements just because they're faster on this page on Twitter from Ruru. I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, but yeah, this I get all my figure announcements from here. Now that I'm done with that section of this video, I don't know how long this is going to be, but I really quickly want to mention figures that I was hoping to see announcements on or updates on. I was already hoping to see updates on Reiki and Langa, and yay, we did. Okay, that was like one of the top ones. I was hoping to see updates on number six of Shion and Nezumi, but it seems like, again, they just re-announced 
the figure being made or the Nendroid being made. There's no prototype. There's just like a promotional image of Xion and uh, Nezumi. So yeah, I was hoping on getting updates on that. I was really hoping on getting updates on the Heaven Officials Blessing Nendroids of uh, Xie Lian and Hua Chang. I don't know if we would even get it there to be honest. Good Smile Shanghai or Smile Fest Shanghai, I don't know what, what it's called for the uh, Chinese festival one, already passed. I think there's another one coming up. So hopefully they'll get announced there. So I don't, I, I don't, I really don't know how these festivals work, y'all. Um, but yeah, I was really hoping to see updates on them. So far, there's still just a promotional picture on them and they've been announced for a while now. I was also, and I know a lot of people were also on the same boat for this. I was hoping to see Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid um, Nendroids. Any updates on them? There's still just a promotional photo and yeah no prototype or anything so i have a lot of scales pre-ordered for them i did order the bunny scale and then i have like these cat ones pre-ordered of toru and kana and then uh these made ones of toru and kana too but like they're so cute y'all anyways i was hoping on getting updates on that and then last but not least the last nendroid that i was hoping to see updates on is from blink click we got, I don't know how long ago we got an announcement on them, but I feel like it's been quite a while and there's no prototype. There's just a promotional photo of them. And I'm guessing, hopefully crossing my fingers that they will get announced with Hua Chang and Xie, Xie Long uh, <laughs> from Heaven Officials Blessing in the next Smile Fest Shanghai or Good Smile shanghai fest or whatever and my voice is cracking i'm losing my voice now because i've been talking for so long but anyways that is it for today's video please let me know what you think in the comment section below um again let me know about all those animes that i was talking about like chobit like chobits and blue lock and then i had another question at the beginning of the series i don't even remember what it was <laughs> oh let me know what figure you were you're excited about that that was announced and let me know if you still want me to do the one hobby fest announcements there you go um anyways i will thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in the next video which is hopefully hopefully soon these are all my notes y'all um i will see you in the next video which is hopefully hopefully soon Bye bye guys